Have you ever wondered how much information you can gather about someone, even if their account is set to private? Open source intelligence is a legit technique used by hackers to gather information about their targets, or law enforcement agencies to track down criminals. But what exactly is it, and how is it done? Well in order to understand this, let me illustrate a simple example. So let's say you came across this picture posted by your friend while scrolling on Instagram, and for some reason, you find yourself wanting to know where they are and where this photo was taken. But the question is, how will you do that? Well your common sense might have indicated that in order to determine the location of this photo, we must find where these buildings are situated, as they are the only distinctive features in this photo. But if we crop the image and perform a reverse image search for them on Google, it won't be useful, as we'll only be presented with random pictures of windows across the internet. This is particularly because as humans, we naturally overlook the window frames and curtains to focus on the scenery outside. However search engines can't replicate this understanding, and this is where OSINT tools like cleanup.pictures come into play. Using this tool, we can remove these window frames from our image, and then perform a search for them on Yandex, a Russian search engine that has image searching capabilities way beyond Google's. And as you can see the search results now are much better than the previous ones, as we found various matches for the buildings that we were looking for. Now upon going through these sources, we came to know that these buildings are situated near the Moscow River Bridge in Russia, but what we've just done is a prime example of what an open source intelligence or OSINT investigation looks like. In this video, we'll delve into a specific branch of OSINT called social media intelligence, so let's get started. Disclaimer. While gathering publicly available information is legal, using the gathered information with ill intent can still result in serious legal consequences. I strongly discourage the use of information discussed in this video for unethical activities. Okay so this is the example account that we'll be using and performing our OSINT investigations on. Now the first technique I want to share with you involves gaining an idea of our subjects activities, by searching for all the public posts that they might have commented on, or maybe were tagged in. To do this, we are going to use Google search with a special search operator called site colon, followed by instagram.com like this, and then in-text, followed by the username of the account we want to search for. And upon hitting enter, Google will list all the posts that our account might have engaged with or were tagged in. Now while this might not show all the posts or provide a complete profile of a person's activity, it still is a useful technique that you can incorporate into your OSINT investigations, and can use with any social media platform by simply adjusting the site and username accordingly. Additionally, you can also use other search engines like Bing to perform these searches, as they might bring up some additional posts that Google might not, but make sure that when you conduct these searches, you're logged into your Instagram account or else they won't work. Next, if the victim has their full name written on their social media profile, we can go ahead and search for every publicly available PDF, Excel, or Word document hosted online, containing that exact name, using the file type search operator like this. The our search operator used here tells Google to also include Excel or Word documents in its search results. And after hitting enter, you will see all the documents that may be associated with the provided name. This can be very effective as the search results might include court records, resumes, or other official documents that can provide a lot of insight into a person's life, and may also provide you with email addresses, phone numbers, or a list of family members that you can use to perform further investigations on. Moreover, if the subject has mentioned things like their country, city, or university slash workplace on their social media profiles, we can also search the internet for their name along with these keywords, and find additional information such as links to their university profiles or employment details. This might also reveal multiple social media profiles, providing a great way to learn more about our subject's interests, as a programmer might have an account on GitHub, while an artist could be found on platforms like DeviantArt or Pixar. To broaden your search, you can also utilize the Twitter's advanced search engine to search for your target's name along with these keywords, and check if there are any tweets related to them. Another effective OSINT technique involves checking if the subject has uploaded their own face as their profile picture, as we can use a tool called facecheck.id, to search for their presence on the internet using facial recognition for free. What I particularly like about this tool is that it also includes social media platforms in its searches, and is quite proficient at facial recognition. However if you can't find anything on this website, another option is to use a paid tool called PimEyes that has a slightly good facial recognition software, but doesn't include any social media accounts in its searches. You can also search for the username of your subject across multiple social media platforms, and find their presence online. Additionally, if you found the email address of your subject through Google dorking or any other means, you can also run that email on websites like FEOS, or HaveIBeenPond.com, and discover social media accounts that may be associated with that email. Finally, you can also visit a website called IntelTechniques.com, and find additional OSINT tools for multiple social media platforms there. Anyway guys that wraps up the video, as the purpose was just scratching the surface and exploring how much information can be gathered about someone, even if their account is set to private. Now if you're interested in learning more and diving deep into the topic, I will put links to some of the best OSINT resources in the description below for you to check out. If you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments section down below, and I will see you in the next one.